We recently brought you the story of a submersible called Limiting Factor. It was used to reach the deepest parts of all five of the Earth's oceans. We took you along as it reached Challenger Deep, nearly seven miles below the surface of the Western Pacific. Limiting Factor is the brainchild of adventurer Victor Vescovo, and he's been on board as it reached those record depths. He joins us here in studio this morning. Victor, good morning. Good morning. First of all, I'm sorry uh, for your loss. I know you knew a few of the folks who were on board. Um, I also know you were reluctant to say much about this until we knew what actually happened. How concerned were you that something was going to go wrong here, and what do you think it was that happened? Uh, it was widely discussed in the submersible community that this design was so unusual, being a cylinder with different materials. It broke many conventions and safety precautions to have spherical uh, pressure vessels made of metal. And so, therefore, there was a lot of concern that there could be a potential for failure over time. And uh, it's just very unfortunate that that's what we believe happened, that uh, over repeated dives, which it made, that it eventually imploded. Should Titan have been in the water? As an experimental vehicle, we're always trying to push the boundaries of technology to make it more affordable and more accessible for scientists. But in this case, taking paying passengers to the Titanic on a submersible that was probably not fully tested was probably unwise. There are a lot of people that are wondering why this is something that people are doing for tourism. It's also used for research, the submersibles that are being used. Why do we need to go to the depths of the ocean in this way? Well, the oceans constitute 70% of our planet. And of those oceans, 80% are still unexplored. So half of the world is still completely unexplored. And yet there's all these concerns about climate change and how does the world work? We still don't understand many of the mechanisms of our world. And that can only be ascertained by doing more marine research. And it's chronically underfunded. So having people pay to go to these places actually helps marine research. So that feeds the ability to do the research that you need to do to explore. Absolutely. Victor, you knew two of the men on board. What was it inside of them that pushed them to try to reach the edges of the world? And what will you remember most about them? I think what pushes anyone that goes deep into the ocean or to the tops of any mountains is a great curiosity about the world and wanting to experience it directly. So P.H. Nargiolet, a French commander in the Navy, he was very passionate about the Titanic, made over 30 dives there. And I think he wanted to share that with so many people. And then my friend Hamish Harding, who I went to the bottom of the ocean with and into space with, was just someone that just loved adventure and was, again, trying to experience the world as much as he could in one lifetime. And that's becoming more possible for people as there's more affluence in the world. We will see more of this, people wanting to explore. Does this give you pause about the next time you might try to explore? No, not at all, because for 35 years, there's never been a fatality or even serious injury using submersibles to explore, as long as they abided by pretty universal conventions of how they should be built and operated. So we functioned for four years diving all over the world in the deepest ocean trenches with no major issues. It can be done, and it can be done safely, but it needs to be done correctly. And, and you believe it can be done with, with tourists? I believe that, yes, with properly classified and operated submersibles, absolutely. I've had two heads of state in my submarine down to the very bottom of the ocean or other places. So it can be done. It just needs to be done like many things in life, like air travel mm -hmm. or mountain climbing. It can be done safely or it can be done in a way that's actually not safe. Victor, thank you for being here this morning. Again, as Jeff said, we are sorry for your loss as thank well. You.